to form a right angle with the body. Keep the humerus in external rotation. Oh, sorry. So, it's kind of like this. Your neck again. And your head away from the image receptor. And you're going to... You can actually hold on to the film. But you have to have your hand externally rotated. You Adjust the forearm in a comfortable position. You may need to support under the forearm and hand or have something for the patient to hold. Have the patient turn their head away from the IR. Place the IR in a vertical cassette holder. So such pain in a bad place. <laughs> Almost. The central ray should be directed horizontally through the axilla to the region of the AC articulation. The degree of angulation is often between 15 and 30 degrees. The greater the abduction of the arm, the greater the angle. So I'm going to come out here. <clears throat> nope. Is that going to be too much? Mm -hmm. Did we skip that proximal humerus? I decided to do this one because we were laying down in this position. So. So we might have to move her. You may not have to lock it in place. You may just be able to let it. Let it. Swing yeah. <clears throat> okay. Fifteen and thirty degrees. So we'll angle. Angle down. Posteriorly. Posteriorly. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot like what we just done, and but her arm is out and externally rotated. And the structures for this is the proximal humerus, scapulohumeral joint, lateral portion of the coracoid process, and the AC articulation. So it's just basically everything around the humerus. And mm -hmm. Now let's do the transthoracic lateral, the Lawrence for the 